Good evening and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice. For those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the life of the day or the day in the life of Maya Sundermeyer. And what I would like to do first is mention two things. Number one, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This video is called uh, YouTube Reacts to Teens and Adolescents Eating Tide Pods or YouTube Reacts to the Tide Pod Challenge. And I'd also like to recommend that you check out my written blogs on WordPress.com, which are scholarly and practical application at Hello World, 240 at WordPress.com. And what I wanted to do now is uh, share something with YouTube and share something with the rest of the world. So, uh, as you guys know, uh, the Tide Pod Challenge has uh, taken storm across social media. It has taken storm across regular media. And people have been eating these and that they've been dying and they've been going to the hospital. Parents have been calling the poison centers. And I wanted to let you know that uh, eating things that are toxic, let's say that they're toxic and they're warning signs on them. Yeah, that is absolutely not a good idea. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, things and all kinds of damage that these can do. These can cause seizures. These can destroy your brain. These can cause death and all kinds of other things. I don't think that Tide Pods were um, officially made for people to put into their mouths. Uh, now, I uh, will mention that uh, People are being inspired uh, by the Tide Pod colors, and I've seen them make alcoholic beverages with Tide Pod colors. But those are things you drink responsibly. But those are things that you can enjoy. They call a shot a Tide Pod. That's okay. People are creating donuts with all kinds of uh, blue colored fun fetti. That's okay, but anyway, whatever you do, do not ever, ever, ever take a challenge that includes something with a warning with, or, or that says, keep out of reach of children. Something that says, if swallowed, uh, call 911, or if swallowed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't not smart. Know. Uh, now, I have, I am uh, starting a uh, new Tide Pod challenge. However, this does not include eating these. Rather, what I would like you to do as parents, what I'd like you to do as adolescents, what I'd like you to do as young adults, is uh, start doing your research on all the different homeless shelters, all the different food shelves, all the different clothing shelves and what I'd like you to do is uh, go out and buy Tide Pods and I'd like you to take those Tide Pods, pop them in your washing machine or pop them into a washing machine at a laundromat and I want you to take a bunch of clothes that you never wear and I want you to put them into the washing machine and I want you to wash them, I want you to dry them, and I want you to videotape or vlog yourself. I want you to put yourselves on YouTube, washing your clothes appropriately, and then taking those clean clothes on video to, to clothing shelves and to homeless shelters for people that really need those clothes. And I want you to hashtag this new Tide Pod challenge onto Tide. And I want you to make a difference. So no, don't eat Tide Pods.